Hey, my name's Chris, and I'm going to show you how to measure a thermocouple with an NI data acquisition device in LabVIEW. Thermocouples are commonly used temperature sensors because of their ability to measure wide temperature ranges and because they're inexpensive. So normally, you need several components to measure a thermocouple. Since the thermocouple itself only outputs a signal in the millivolt range, you need some sort of signal conditioning to amplify the signal. Also, the thermocouple can only measure a difference in temperature, so you need a second temperature reference. This is also called cold junction compensation. And then last, you need a data acquisition device to actually measure the signal. So in this case, I'm using an NIC series device that has the built-in signal conditioning, built-in cold junction compensation, and the measurement all in one module. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this up to my C-series USB sleeve here. And then this is connected back to the computer uh, through the USB port. And then I'm going to switch over to the computer here and launch LabVIEW and start a blank VI. And over here on the dot block diagram, I'll right click, go to input, and we're going to add a DAC assistant. And so this is a step-by-step -step wizard that allows me to set up my measurement. So we're going to choose acquire signals, analog input, temperature, and we can see the setting for thermocouple here. And so my thermocouple module has four different channels and I've plugged my thermocouple into analog in zero. And then we have a couple more settings here. We can set the signal input range from, uh, we're going to leave it at zero to hundred. We can also change the units from degree Celsius to Fahrenheit. We can set the thermocouple type. In this case, we're using a J-type thermocouple. And as we said, the module has built-in uh, cold junction compensation, so we can change that to built-in. And that's all we have to do. We'll hit OK. So each time the DAC assistant is called, it's going to output one signal. And since we want to continually acquire a measurement, we're going to right-click the block diagram, go to execution control, and drag a while loop around it. And then we also want to control how often we take a sample. So we can right click, again go to execution control, and then time delay. And so we'll leave that at the default of one second. And so this way we take one sample every one second. The last thing we need to do is graph our data. So we'll right click on the front panel this time, go to graph indicator, and select waveform chart. And you'll see the terminal for the chart on the block diagram and we're just going to wire the output of our DAC assistant right into that chart. And so now when we hit run, we can see our signal on the graph. And so what we're going to do on the graph, if we right click, we can uncheck auto scale Y, and this allows us to manually enter our maximum and minimum values. And so there we can see our temperature. And over here I've got a cup of ice water, and so if I stir around the thermocouple in the ice water, we can see that the temperature uh, start to drop on the chart there. And so that's how you measure a thermocouple with an NI data acquisition device in LabVIEW.